According to Parti Pasaka Bumibutra Bersatu Senior Vice President Fadila Yusuf, opposition parties in Sarawak do not have clear plans on how to help the state to progress. He said the opposition had uncleared baggage after failing to deliver promises made in the previous general election. Actually, they promised so many things. And when they are in power for 22 months, they are not able to fulfill the promises to the state. For example, they promised 50% of tax collected from the state will be returned to the state, 20% uh, in, of a royalty. He contrasted the opposition coalition's performance against that of Sarawak's ruling Gabungan Party Sarawak, which comprises PBB and several minor parties. So I think people can compare who are really uh, delivering for the state. So between GPS and opposition for that matter, in particular Pakatan Harapan, so GPS has proven themselves. Fadila is seeking re-election in the Petrajaya parliamentary seat in the general election. He said in an exclusive interview with FMT that GPS had set clear objectives for Sarawak, including boosting the state's economy and finances and uplifting the social well-being of citizens. He also described GPS as the defender of Sarawak's rights and the Malaysia Agreement 1963, noting there were outstanding issues the coalition wanted to tackle. The last two years, Sarawak spent about 6.8 billion to help the people uh, by way of rental subsidies and even quarantine for Sarawakian who came back from overseas and coming back to the state. So now the post-COVID, there's a clear strategy in terms of economic performance. We want to focus on clean energy. When we say clean energy, we are the biggest producer of hydropower. Now we are looking into hydrogen, uh, where Korean, Japan and even Germany and European countries are interested to work with us on this. Fadila also said GPS and PBB in particular had been striving to win back Bidayu voters since the 2018 polls, when the community's support had swung to the opposition. He said he believed the main reason the party had lost Bidayu support then was because the community was not happy with its choice of candidates in certain areas. Our party boys are always on the ground uh, to engage themselves with the people, to understand what are the real issues, why people are not supporting PBB for that matter. However, Fadila said that the party's chances of winning all the Bidayu majority seats were quite good in this general election. <laughs>